Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel if you are new here and if you are not, welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you how I created this beautiful yet simple baby blanket. Um, I created it for a friend of mine whose son has a fox themed nursery. So I wanted to go ahead and incorporate this blanket into that theme. It is so simple. We're working with one stitch and it is definitely beginner friendly. Every item that I'm going to list will be in the description box below and you can click on the links for more information. So let's get started. So of course you're going to need scissors and you're also going to need a crochet hook that is going to be sufficient for a blanket. So I am using a Q hook today. Again, links will be below for you to purchase the items if you don't have it. And I'm going to be using Bernat Blanket Yarn. This yarn is beautiful. It's perfect for baby blankets, for throws. It has a soft Chanel feel. And I'm going to be using three colors today. Each link for the colors, if you want to do it exactly the same way, are going to be listed below. If not, you can definitely click the link and check out the actual um, colors that they have. And it's 300 grams of yarn. I think it said 300, y'all. I'm going to leave it below. But um, everything that you see here, if you're going to do it the exact same size, and I actually did it bigger than a normal baby blanket, you will only need those three skeins of yarn. So we're going to start with a slip knot. Multiple ways to do it, but basically you're just making and creating a loop. And that is your slip knot. You can definitely just do it with your fingers. You don't have to use a hook. If you need to know how to create one, um, I'll give you a link to my other videos. But we're going to start off with our foundation chain. Every project has to have a foundation chain. And you are going to chain by yarning over and pulling that through. Yarning over and pulling through. I chained a total of 60 for this project, which is a little bit bigger, like I stated earlier, for a baby blanket. Normally, they range in about 40 to 45 chains, but I wanted this blanket to, you know, be able to grow, or should I say I wanted the child to be able to grow with the blanket, and if I'm making any sense. <laughs> So again, I am just chaining, yarning over and pulling through. You want to make sure that you keep your chain straight. You don't want it to twist up because it's going to be very important when you start to go in um, with your stitch. And it's very important as well to keep count of your chains and your stitches. So again, I did a total of 60. And now I'm at the end and I'm getting ready to start my stitches and I'm going to skip the first hook. So that means we're going into the second chain from the hook, not the first one. So you're going to just go in with your hook, wrap the yarn over, pull through one, wrap the yarn over and pull through the two remaining loops. That's it. You're going to go in. The next chain, wrap the yarn over, pull through one, wrap the yarn over, and pull through two. This is the only stitch that you are going to do throughout this entire blanket. So again, going in the chain, wrapping the yarn over, pulling through, wrapping over, and pulling through two. Insert, pull through one. Wrap over, pull through two. And there I'm just making sure that my chain is straight. The total amount of time that it took me to do the project was about an hour and a half. Um, I do work pretty fast, but I also didn't complete it in one day because I had other things to do. But again, it should be about an hour and a half, depending on, you know, your skill set. So far, this is what the, the um, actual row, the first row looks like. 
And I've actually just completed the first row. And I want to show you guys how we're going to move to the second row. So all you're going to do is wrap the yarn over and pull through. And that's basically just chaining one. And you're going to turn your work. And at this time, we're going into the chain, underneath the chain, not as normal. So we're going to take it out of that way. That's the normal way. We're going to put the hook underneath the chain. So it's going to go right through the bottom of the chain. So insert, pull through, and pull through two. Let me do that slow. So this is what the top of the row looks like. And you'll see like the links, the chains. You want to go right underneath that. You're not going in the back loop or the front loop. You're going underneath. So we're going to go like right there. That's where you're going to insert, insert your hook. So you insert it. And you have what looks like a double loop. But it's actually just the one. You yarn over. Pull through that double loop. Yarn over and pull through the last two on, that are left. Insert. Make sure it's doubled. Pull through. Yarn over and pull through the remaining loops. So from this point on, guys, that is exactly how we are doing our stitching. And we are, I've come to the end of my first two rows, and I'm going to show you guys how to change colors now. So you're just going to extend your loop like I just did. I pulled it up, and you grab the color that you want to change. And it's really simple. You're going to take that color and insert it through the loop. like so, and you're just going to tie a knot. Now, once you have your knot secure, you're gonna pull it all the way over to the right of the loop. This is how we're gonna do it each time we have to change colors. And then once it's over to the right, we wanna make sure it's secure. And we are going to then insert our hook. So you insert your hook into the old color Pull it down as far as you can, and you're going to yarn over with the new color, which is my gray. So I'm yarning over with the gray, and I'm pulling through. And what I'm going to do is pull on the white again to make sure that it is out of the way. So now we have switched to our gray, and I'm chaining one. And now I'm turning my work. And I will um, cut off the white string momentarily. You can choose to leave your strings attached, but it will get kind of confusing and it'll just get in the way. So I'm going to cut along the way and I'll show you at the end how to sew in or hide those strings. So again, the same process, inserting, pulling through one, pulling through two, inserting, pulling through one, pulling through two. <laughs> And guys, as we go along, I just want you to, to know or make sure that you count. You want to make sure that your edges are going to be straight, so you need to count. So I'm going to the next row. I'm chaining one, and I'm going to flip my work and continue the process the same way. The very next loop from the chain, from the hook, excuse me, the very next chain from the hook I'm going to go into. Same way as before. And when I count, I am counting by tens because sometimes you can be distracted when it comes to crocheting. The phone may ring. Someone may talk to you. I figure if I can count in tens, I'm okay to know where I'm at. Okay, guys. So I have finished my... Um, rows of gray and I did a total of six rows 
And I'm now going to go back into the white because in between each color that I change, I want the white to be in between each. So I'm going to show you guys again how to switch your colors. Um, and it's very simple. There's multiple ways to switch colors. I just feel like this is a pretty decent way. Um, and it's one of the most, the more easier ways. So again, I'm going to tie a knot. I'm going to then drag that color over to the far right of my loop. Secure it. Insert my hook into the previous color. And I'm going to yarn over with the new color. Okay, guys, then it's time to turn the work or your work and proceed. So I finished my two rows that quick. It was like magic. <laughs> so my final color for this blanket is orange. So I'm going to do the orange the same way as I did the rest. I'm just showing you really quick again, and that's a little bit um, in high speed. So you don't have to sit through the entire process again. But I'm going to switch out the white for the orange and continue with the single crochet. Okay, guys, so now I'm about 90% done with my blanket. I wanted to show you guys this is what it looks like so far. I am, or should I say I have done a set of four. So I repeated my pattern four times. And again, it's a little bigger than the normal baby blanket. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like going to open it up a little and I honestly think this is better for a baby the perfect size that can go through you know as they're a toddler they can still use the blanket so my last row of white is what I'm doing now and then I'm going to show you guys how to do the border and basically with our border, we're only doing the sides of the blanket because it's already bordered on the top and the bottom with the white. Okay, so I've come to the end of my white row. So I wanna create my corner. So I'm going to do two more single crochets in that same stitch, which will make three, since there's already one in there. So the same stitch, I'm going to put my hook in, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and I'm going to repeat. And that will give me a total of three single crochets in that last stitch. And now I'm going to go to the border. So I'm going to insert my hook. It's the same way. Pull through, yarn over, pull through. And I'm okay guys, so now we're going to go along the edge of the blanket and repeat the same pattern. I'm going to slow down and show you guys because what's going to happen is every row that you did should have a edge stitching. So this is the first of the gray. This is the second of the gray. This is the third. I did a total of six rows. This is the fourth. And once you're actually doing it, it's going to be so much easier for you to figure out which is which. This is the fifth row. And we're going to the sixth row. So this way you can you will make sure that you don't miss any, that you're doing your edging correctly. Again, each row will have a stitch at the end. I did two rows of white. So we're going to go into the first row of white and the second. 
And those are the edges that I cut off. And it, I'm just covering them up. Now we're going into the orange. One, two, third row of the orange, fourth row of the orange, fifth row of the orange, and the sixth row of the orange. And now we're back to the white. So it's pretty simple to know where you're going. And again, I, I've realized I didn't show you guys. I just cut off those edges that were hanging. And um, I'm just covering it up with the border. So the border will cover it up. And that's it. That's what it looks like. You're going to repeat the same pattern on the other side of the blanket. And now I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to do my two other single crochets in that same stitch. And you can slip stitch it if you like to finish it, but I'm going to actually slip stitch it, but I'm going to do it with a needle, with a crochet needle. So I'm pulling it all the way out. I have all information um, regarding the needle below as well, but you can actually, I would suggest using a bigger one because this yarn was a little bit too thick for my needle. I had to do some finagling to get it in there, but it did work. So I'm just going to sew it in. No particular pattern, I'm just pulling it through. Um, try to secure it. And then I'm just bringing it back the opposite way. Okay, guys, and once I'm here, I'm just going to loop it back around and go right back into that same loop. And I'm going to then insert the tail and tie it off into a knot. And then I'm going to cut it making sure that it is secure. I'm going to get down as close as I can and cut it off. And we are done. So I'm on to the next side and it's the same concept. Everything is the same. I'm going to finish that off. And now I'm at the end of the other edging. And again, I'm doing two extra single crochets. And I'm slip stitching this time to show you. Just going to insert into the top of that. And I'm also going to still sew in the tail a little bit to make sure that it is secure enough. And voila, this is the finished project. I am just going to um, clean it up a little bit, get rid of some of the loose ends, some of the scraggly pieces of yarn. But yeah, guys, please thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you plan on making it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be blessed and most importantly, be a blessing. Mwah. Smooches.